Hello everyone, I hope everybody is doing well. Hold that thought, I feel you guys typing in the comments. You want to know what lip I'm wearing? I'm wearing the MAC Completely Blasted Shot of Color Lip Oil. So now that we got that out of the way, today I'm going to be doing a spring cleaning, organizational decluttering video of my collection. I was in the mood to get in my drawers and give it a good shuffle and declutter. I know these videos are some of your favorites, so I hope you enjoy today's video. With the things I'm parting with today, if I can salvage them, sanitize them, I'll gift them to my friends. I sadly don't have any unused makeup in my collection, so nothing is donatable. And for the things that have gone off, I'm going to try to recycle where I can, all that good stuff. So before we get into it, I would love for you to subscribe if you aren't already. It means so much to me, and let's get to it. This is the first drawer I'm going to start off with, and this is by far the messiest drawer are the most unorganized like there's primers over here there's a lot of stuff mixed up in here and it goes on for a while back there and i also have to switch the placement of a few of these foundations um, my more tanned shades are in the back so i need to bring those to the forefront just shift everything like that and if you don't see any of the newer products i brought into my collection it's because they're in these baskets here. This is how I organize for my monthly roundups because if I put away the products, then I forget what's new to my collection and it just gets lost, as you can tell. Okay, so I'm gonna start here. So this right here is the first container I'm going to tackle. By the way, all of these things are from Ikea. So in this one, I have skincare, my facial sprays, and powders. I'm gonna start off with my powders. First up, I have the Milk Makeup Blur and Set. I'm going to be keeping this one. I like to use it time to time. It used to be my favorite. This one right here is the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I'm actually going to pass this one along because I haven't used it ever since I became obsessed <laughs> with the Pat McGrath ones, so I think someone would get a lot better use out of this one than I would. I'm also going to pass along the Glossier Wowder. I used to really enjoy this powder. It's really nice and blurring. I just never ever reach for it anymore. I feel like I reach for my Pat McGrath ones, my Charlotte Tilbury one, far more than this one, so I'm gonna let go of it. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Powder. I actually really like this one, so I'm going to keep it. <laughs> this powder here is newer to me. I've only used it a couple of times. This is the MAC Medium Mineralized Skin Finish Natural Powder. It feels quite nice. It's kind of like a, a baked finish and I tend to like these ones. So I'm going to keep it to continue testing it out. This one right here is one of my favorites, the Pat McGrath Loose one. I love it so very much. I'm going to keep this one for sure. And the last two here are Major Keeps. I love this one. This is my favorite face powder, I think, out of them all. It's so good. I just recently hit pan on it. It's phenomenal. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. It's so blurring, really good at setting. It just does all of the things I want, but it doesn't look cakey on the skin. It looks very undetectable. It's just incredible. And this is my Pat McGrath Under Eye Blurring Setting Powder. Love this one to bits, as you guys know. Now I'm going to hit the sprays. I'm going to start off with my obvious keeps. That includes the Lila B A Glow Face Mist, the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray, this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray, the Rare Beauty Always an Optimist Spray. I've actually been loving this one. It's the Elf and Jen Atkin one it smells so nice and it does a good job this is the mac fix plus with bronze light it has like a bronzy shimmer to it and it just adds a subtle extra glow i love it so these ones are for sure keeps love them now here we are with the rest i'm actually going to get rid of the pixie glow mist i find whenever i use this it's a bit too heavy and i find whenever I go into a phase using it, I tend to break out, so I think I'm going to get rid of it for that reason. I'm just scared of it, like please don't give me zits. <laughs> this one here is the MAC Fix Plus Magic Radiance. This one has vitamin C in it. 
I actually don't like this one as much as the original Mac Fix Plus, which I do have a backup on. I think I'm going to replace this one spot with that. I find that this one's a little too tacky in finish, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. This one here is the Professional Super Setter. I've actually never tried this one, so I'm going to keep it to test it out. This one right here is the NYX Dewy Finish. I actually don't really remember my thoughts on it. Uh, I'll keep it, I'll keep it. And same with this one. This is the classic Urban Decay All Nighter. But that fits a lot better, even though I just got rid of two. I have this one next, but I'm actually going to tackle my brows because I want to avoid this one right now. I might need a snack before hitting this one. So here we are. I have this tin with my pear soap cut up into it when I want to do soap brows. <laughs> so I'm going to keep that. I have my Flower Beauty Bubble Brow. What's left of it, anyways. This is a pomade from Quo, which I'm actually going to get rid of because I'm not a pomade type of gal. The only time I see myself using this is if I did like the spiked brows. And even so, I'd probably reach for the powder instead. So I'm actually going to let this go. I'm just going to fast forward through this. Okay. That's much better. Most of these are either dried up, like these here are dried up. That one's empty. <laughs> and this one does not match me, and this I don't think I'll ever use. Okay, I'm gonna go have a snack before I tackle this. Okay, I ate and I'm ready to get back to it. I'm going to start with my concealers here. I have a few eyeshadow primers in here as well. And I have my color correctors, which I'm going to be keeping. I have the Becca one and the Charlotte Tilbury one. I'm gonna keep those. I'm going to keep the Urban Decay one because this is a pretty solid one. Not as solid as my Fenty one, but I like to have it on hand. And I'm actually going to get rid of the NARS one. This one does not work for me. I have my Precious revealer concealers from Kosas and I just wanted to smell this one compared to my newest one because this one smells a little off. Yeah, they smell entirely different. I should probably check this one as well. Yeah, it smells like mushrooms and alcohol. So I have to get rid of these two sadly, but thankfully I have a fresh one. I have three shades in the Bare Minerals Original Concealer. I'm gonna keep these two. This one's a little bit pink for me the shade light medium. I'm keeping fair and light. I have my Pat McGrath concealers here in various shades to suit me at all times of the year because this is a very special concealer for me, so I'm keeping that, obviously. I'm actually going to get rid of my Glossier stretch concealer. This one I purchased when I was living in Vancouver, which is three to four years ago already, so I have to get rid of this one, it's too old. I have my Rare Beauty concealers in two shades. I love that stuff, keeping that. This one right here is old. This is the Ilia concealer, and it smells kind of like sweet, but rotten at the same time. <laughs> so I have to let go of this. This one I've also had for years. It also smells extremely like alcohol, but I remember it always kind of smelling that way, like Bailey's, but it's like tequila now. I feel like I need to get rid of it. I also have to get rid of my milk makeup one. This is so old. I need to repurchase <laughs> my milk one. And these are fairly new, which kind of replaced my Flex Concealer as of right now. These are the Quo Beauty ones. Very, very similar formula. This one's just glowier. So I'm keeping that and I'm going to keep my little NARS, the Radiant, whatever you might call it. Now I'm going to hit this area, which are my primers and glow boosters and all that kind of stuff. This is the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Primer. I do like this for more of a blurring, fill, pore filling one, because it doesn't feel like a classic pore filling primer. And it pairs so nicely with the foundation, obviously, like it's so blurring. I'm going to keep it. This one here is the Milk Hydro Grip, and this is actually my first bottle. I did receive a newer one recently, so I'm going to replace it with this one, just in case this one has gone off. Do do do, here's the fresh one. <laughs> this I have to smell, because a lot of you have been saying that this 
really stinks. Mine doesn't stink at all. It's still, still good, I think. This is the Milani Soft Focus Glow. I don't know if this is getting phased out or what, but um, I cannot part with this. It's one of my all-time favorite products. I have my Hollywood Flawless Filter here. I'm actually going to keep this shade, which is one of the shades from the newer extension. It's the shade 2.5. This one's a little bit pink for me. I always reach for this one. And yeah, therefore I'm going to just keep one of them. I never reach for this one anymore. Here I have my Auric Glow Lusts. I have two shades here. One shade in Selenite and the other is Pyrite. I'm going to keep both. I have four shades of the Becca Light Shifter Doing Tint. I feel like that's a little extra. I don't need to have four very similar shades. The shade I use the most is Orbit. I think I'm going to keep the shade Orbit 2 and Moon Dance 3. This shade Luminary 1 is too light and this one over here is too close to Orbit 2. I have the Vesca Beauty Soft Sun Radiant Skin Primer and Luminizer. I'm going to be keeping this one. It's a nice sheer one. I'm going to keep Max Strobe Cream 2. <laughs> it's a classic. This is the Rare Beauty Illuminating Primer. It's gorgeous, gorgeous. This is a very glass skin vibe but without any visible pearls or glitter or anything it's immaculate i'm actually going to get rid of my charlotte tilbury wonder glow i always reach for this rather than this and i have other face ones that i prefer all over the face rather than this one but i think my mom would love this and then the last two here i have the flower beauty heat wave bronzing essence this is a great product if i want to darken up a foundation if it's a little too light or if i want to make it look more bronzy it's just a great product to do so i'm going to keep that and i'm also going to keep my glossier future dew this is amazing in the winter time if i'm feeling dehydrated or i want to look ultra dewy that day phenomenal that fits perfectly okay now let's get to the bulk of this bin my foundations okay here we go so here i have the sephora s clean foundation in two shades my winter and my summer i love this stuff therefore i'll keep i have two shades of my guerlain l'essentiel foundation this i'm also going to be keeping shocker here I have the Ilia True Skin Serum Foundation. I'm actually going to let this one go. I recently squirted a few pumps out and it's very separated and kind of curdly. Therefore, I'm going to get rid of it. I think it's gone bad. I'm also going to be getting rid of this Huda Beauty Stick Foundation. This is just a pimple factory. Every time I use a stick foundation, I think it might be like the excess wax or I don't know what kind of ingredient to make it stay in this state it just destroys my skin i'm getting rid of this right now same goes for the milk makeup one this one looks stunning on the skin i love the way this one looks it just breaks me out like so bad gotta go here is the airbrush flawless foundation from charlotte tilbury this is my favorite full coverage foundation it looks just like skin it doesn't look heavy at all it's incredible I'm going to be keeping this one for sure. Here I have the Glossier Skin Tint. I love to use this alone or mixed in with other things to sheer them out or add glow. It's just a very versatile product for my collection. I'm going to keep it as well. I have the Bobbi Brown Intensive Skin Serum Foundation here. I have to get rid of one shade because it never matched me ever. It's this one right here. That's the shade W026 Warm Ivory and I'm keeping an 042 beige. I have my precious here, the M Cosmetics Cushion Foundations. I have two shades, Cloud Dream and Gentle Light. This is one of my top favorite foundations in general. This is phenomenal, keeping for sure. I have two shades in the Rare Beauty Foundation, a winter shade as well as a summer shade here. I'm going to keep this one as well. I need to use this again. I haven't used this in a hot minute. This right here is the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. And the more and more I use this, the less and less I liked it, which is weird. I feel like this will just sit in my collection in a way. I don't know. It looks good for the first four-ish hours I wear it, and then it just goes 
goes south it goes it goes bad on me uh, I think I'm going to gift this to a friend maybe they'll have better luck with it this is another foundation I kind of struggle with the formula itself is so beautiful but the colors are so off the formula is so good that's why I held on to it I struggle with this one if they had a really bomb shade range I would keep it but as it is now I have to mix these two shades and mix other things into it to get it to match me and for that reason it's too fussy and I don't think I'll reach for it rather than the other ones I have in my collection. I actually decided that I'm undecided about this one. I think I might have to rest on that for a few days. I have three shades of my Shunsign. What was that? That was not English. Three shades of the Milk Makeup Shunsign. I just said it again. Sunshine Skin Tint. I actually don't know which ones suit me best or the one that I used to wear all the time. I'm going to keep all three for right now. Determine that another day. I feel like I could get use of all of those colors anyways. I don't know. I have two shades of my Pat McGrath foundation here. A winter and a summer once again. Love this stuff. Keep. Here I have the Quo Beauty foundation. I will also keep this. This is a very similar dupe to this. The Airbrush Flawless from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm going to keep them. Not doing very great in this section I realize. Milani Screen Queen, you guys know. It's going over here. This one right here, I want to keep because it's so beautiful and it looks good some days, but a majority of the days, it does not look great on me, which is really, really sad. So I think I'm going to let this one go. Aw. And finally, the last foundation here is the Gucci Beauty foundation, which I do enjoy. So I'm going to keep it. <laughs> Although it felt like I didn't get rid of much, it's it's so much better in here. Like I have free space here and it's not all so shoved tight in these areas. This is the second drawer I'm tackling today. This one contains my bronzers, blushes, more blushes, more blushes. And here's highlighters. And then I have my Freck. I believe that's the face gloss from Makeup by Mario, and my Makeup Forever flash palette, which it's probably time to let go of. I've had that since makeup school, but I'm going to do the same thing, take everything out, and we'll go through it. This will be super quick. I have my two Freck products here, and all of the Melt blushes in this little section here. I won't be decluttering any of those. I love them too much. But I'm going to start off with this bin. This is all of my bronzers. This I just threw right on top. I am going to be decluttering this. This is very, very old. It's past its prime. Bronzers, here we go. Okay, I guess I'll start with that one. This is the Cover FX Liquid Bronzer Drops. I'm going to be keeping these. I have an easy one here. This is the Fenty Beauty Powder Bronzer. She's very well loved. And I also have the cream one in the shade Macchiato. I'm going to be keeping these. This one here is a newer favorite to me. This is the e.l.f. Cosmetics Forever Sun Kissed Primer Infused Bronzer. I'm going to be keeping that one. I'm actually going to be decluttering the Physician's Formula butter bronzer. I find that this one breaks me out. It might be because it's so intensely fragranced or it's a more sticky formula, but I prefer a lot of my other drugstore options in here compared to this one. This one right here is the Tarte Sea Breezy bronzer and it's a really nice formula. I wanted to see what it swatched like right next to the Huda Beauty one just to refresh my memory. Oh yeah, the Huda Beauty one is more pigmented and a little deeper. I think I'm going to keep both of them. I do enjoy this formula. I don't enjoy it as much as this one. It's still fairly new and I purchased it not too, too long ago. I want to keep it around. Same with this one, obviously. This one's my all-time favorite cream bronzer. Here's another one of my favorite powder bronzers. This is the Wet n Wild bronzer in the shade, uh, doesn't say here. I think it's Sunset Strip Tease, I believe. Very, very nice. I find this one to be a drugstore dupe to the Lila B one in formula and texture. Not so much color. This one's far more warm 
a little bit redder. This one has more of a contour undertone for my skin tone, but very lovely nonetheless. Speaking about the Lila B1, since they only offer one shade and I never reach for it anymore, I think I'm going to gift this one to someone else. I was a mega fan of this one. It's a beautiful formula, beautiful color, but like this is the only one they offer. I have a Dior bronzer here. This one's a neat one because it kind of can be transformative. I can use it in the winter. I can just try to dip my brush on the outskirts. And in the summertime, I can dip into the center if I want to deepen it up. So I actually really like this formula. I'm going to keep it and I love the packaging. I have two shades in the Nabla bronzers. I use this one in the winter, which is Ombra, and this one in the summer, which is Dune. And this formula is really, really nice and unique. Uh, it's like a hard pressed powder. Once it's on your cheeks, it looks like a cream. It's super easy to use and diffuse, and it's very user friendly and heavy hand friendly. It builds up slowly, but it can be really built up if you want more of a full glam look. It's an incredible bronzer. Love it. I have the Kosas bronzer, which I adore here. I'm going to be keeping this one. I have my Melt Cosmetics Sculpt Stack. This is the powder version. I'm going to be keeping it. I love this very much. This one's a fun one. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. I love bringing this out time to time. I don't want to part with it right now. I'm going to keep it. This one right here, I'm kind of torn about because it's quite deep for my skin tone. I'm only able to use this at a specific time of the year, kind of nearing the end of summer when I'm really, really tanned. So I don't know. I don't know. This is another one I'm going to put to the side. This one's a no-brainer for me, the Quo Beauty Bronzer. I have the shade Cool Contour. It's more of a bronzer color for me, but it does have those cooler undertones to it. So it's not too, too warm. It's like a really fun, interesting color that I like to use. This one right here, I'm actually going to get rid of just because it doesn't suit my skin tone. It's far too orange for me. It's the e.l.f. perpetually tanned color. I have four shades in the NARS bronzers. I don't need all four. I do have two different finishes though. I have the original one and the matte version. This one I got a ton of use. So I'm gonna keep this one, that's the shade Vallarta. I've never tried either one of these, so I'm gonna keep both formulas just to test. But this one right here, the shade San Juan, I'm going to get rid of because it's a little too orange for me. I have two shades of the Gucci bronzer. I'm actually going to be keeping both, which seems kind of crazy, but I wanted to see what this red color, this shade two, looked like in the summertime because when I tan, I like, kind of turn a more reddish color. So we'll see, but right now this one's a good color for me since it has more of a yellowy undertone. And lastly, I did not do a good job in this one, but I'm mostly organizing this collection. I have the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer, which I'm going to be keeping. I guess you'll just be getting a collection tour mostly today. And I'm going to keep this one because I remembered I actually like using this on the eyes quite a bit in the summertime. Okay, there's my bronzers. For my highlighters, I don't think I'm going to take them all out. I feel like they're nicely organized in here, but I do know I'm going to be getting rid of a few in here. Starting off with the Makeup by Mario Master Secret Glow Highlighter. I really don't like this stuff. It's too gloopy on the skin. It's very heavy. It breaks up my makeup. It's ultra sticky. I just really don't like it. I'm also finally going to be letting go of my Marc Jacobs highlighter here. This I purchased four or five years ago, and I don't know, I just don't use it anymore, so I'm going to get rid of that. I am going to be keeping my Marc Jacobs Do You Do Drops. I prefer this color too, it's not as icy. This one has a warmth to it. Just to swatch this other one. You can see it's like a very white highlight, and that's not really my vibe anymore. I have three shades in the Rare Beauty colors. I really like mixing and matching all of these tones together. It's a beautiful formula. I adore these so much. I'm going to be keeping all three. Here I have the Ilia highlighter, which I adore. It's one of my most used powder highlights. This one I sadly have to get rid of. It's one of my all-time favorites, but it kind of like dried out and it's like really chunky. Like see how that works? And like the highlighter as well, it's very, very chunky. It doesn't act the same 
anymore. Although I can still warm it up, it still kind of works, but it has a different smell to it now, and I feel like I just need to let it go. So that's really too bad. This is something I'm going to consider repurchasing since I love it so deeply. I'm sad to be getting rid of it because it's gone bad. Sad. Here I have the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Glow Highlighter. I love this one if I want something more intense that doesn't enhance any texture or anything. It's stunning. I love that one. Here I have my NARS Fort de France, which I'll also be keeping. It's a really nice sheer formula. Very, very, very sheer, but very glowy at the same time. It's very unique and stunning. I love it. Here I have my little Vesca highlight, which isn't my favorite on the cheeks, but it's my go-to to highlight my inner corner. As you guys know, I always reach for this if there isn't something in a palette I can use. So I'm just gonna keep it at that. It's really pretty in the inner corner. <laughs> I have my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Superstar Glow Highlighter, which I adore. It's very, very velvety, and it just melts into your skin. It's so nice for a powder highlight. Oh my God, there's a spider. Ooh, it's coming towards me. <laughs> ah, you see it? Okay, where was I? The spider has been dealt with. Here I have a MAC highlighter. This one's very, very pretty as well. It was limited edition, but I'ma keep it. It's a nice sheer one, and it has like peachy undertones to it. It's the shade Post Modernist Peach. And this one here is the Nabla Amnesia Highlighter. Very intense, but it's the same as the bronzer formula. You can build it up to an intense state if you want, but it just makes you look like you have glass skin and it's gorgeous. I also just found two bronzers that were hiding under my butt cheek, the Ilia bronzer. I always forget about this one, but it's a beautiful color. It's a really nice, simple powder bronzer. I'm gonna keep this one, and I'm also gonna keep this one. This is the Maybelline City Bronzer. You guys know my love for this one. It's beautiful. Okay, these are the two left in this little highlighter section, the Dior Backstage Face and Body Glow, which I love. And I haven't used that one in a long time, actually. And my Guerlain Terracotta Stick which I love bringing out in the summertime. It's a little deep for me in the winter, but look at that. It's stunning and it smells like Hawaii. I also stored my tan and bronze cheek palettes from Natasha Denona. I'm going to be keeping my tan one. This is my first love. This one is perfect in my eyes but I'm actually going to be getting rid of the bronze cheek one. I don't remember the last time I used it, but I don't like the formulas in here as much as this one. The formulas that are in this one are a little bit more chunky. These tones don't flatter my skin tone as much as these ones do. And I always reach for this one over this one. I'm going to be letting go of my Lila B Be Lovely. This is kind of a similar situation to my Kosas one. It's very dry and chunky and it doesn't smooth or diffuse as nicely. You really have to work at it and put a lot of pressure for it to blend. It's just, it's dried out. This one here, you're probably like, hey, I thought you decluttered that one and your last declutter. Well, sometimes I get excited when I'm cleaning things and I throw a lot of things out that I later regret and this is one of them. So after my last declutter, I went back and grabbed this one because it's just too pretty. I don't know why I did that to myself. I just get excited of decluttering and seeing such a big difference in my drawers, you know? I like to garage things. Here's a no-brainer, my Patrick Ta blushes. Shades She's So LA and Do We Know Her? Keep. Here's another no-brainer, my M Cosmetics Heaven Glow blushes. Oh my god, gorgeous. Beautiful, hello, magic hour. This one's Venetian Rose, the newest one, gorgeous. And this one, the unique one, love this one. It doesn't look unique when you first open it. This is Faded Clementine, but watch this. Where did that beautiful, intense orange glow come from? I don't know. These are some of my all-time faves. Here we go with some more products I'm letting go of. These are so pretty. Like, what a fun color that is. This one and this one. They don't look good on my face. This one, like, looks okay. It just looks very, like, chalky because they're so pastel. They're so fun to look at. I love looking at both of them like this, but when I actually use them, they're like extreme chalk. You see that? Like it's like pretty much white chalk on my face. Um, they don't suit my skin tone, so I'm gonna gift those to someone else. This is another one of my 
newer favorites too. Elf Cosmetics Always Rosy. I have a lot of similar colors like this, like this one. Mellow Wine from Wet n Wild, quite similar, like pretty much identical. This one just is quite a bit more pink. This one has some more orange undertones. You guys know I have a blush addiction, therefore keeping them. <laughs> and cosmetic serum blushes, I cannot part with. They're too beautiful. Here's another example of blushes that are like pretty much identical. Bobbi Brown Powder Pink and Honest Beauty Rose Pink. Like, those are identical. The only reason why I'm keeping these is because I have a list going on in my phone of drugstore dupes, so I'm keeping that. This one here, this is the Quo Beauty Dewy Cheek Tint. I actually am going to get rid of this one. I find that these don't last as long as the M Cosmetics ones, and I always reach for the M Cosmetics ones rather than this one, so I think someone else would get a lot more use out of this one. Speaking of Quo, they have a variety of formulas. These colors here are fun. This is the powder formula. Look how unique this shade is. It's like an intense orange coral. I don't have a color quite like this one, this is the shade Coral Crush. This one is very user friendly as well. This is the shade Brown Sugar, which is my most used out of the two. It's like a nice nudie tone for my skin tone. These I purchased a long time ago and I rarely ever ever use them. I'm going to keep this one shade Luster because it's very pretty and it stands out to me. But this one here, Torrid, I like never use. It's so pretty when I swatch it. Like, that's a beautiful color. Do I ever use it though? No. So someone's going to love this. I don't know why I don't reach for it, but it makes me sad. But I just have to accept the reality. There's something within me that doesn't reach for it. So I'm gonna get rid of it. But I'm going to keep the shade Luster because I have used this one way more than Torrid. This one's a keep. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip and Cheek Glow, Color of Passion. I hope she brings these back. They're beautiful. This is a really pretty berry sunburnt kind of shade. I have a few Rare Beauty blushes. This is the liquid form. I'm going to keep both shades. I have the shade Joy, which is the dewy formula, and Bliss, which is the matte one. I like to use these on their own or mix them up. It's very fun. I also have the Rare Beauty melting blushes, which I adore. I kept two shades here. I have the shades Nearly Neutral and Nearly Apricot gorgeous. Here are my Tower 28 Angels. I'm going to be keeping all of these shades here. I have all of them except one, which is the pink one in the initial launch, but I have all the other ones and I love them all. I love these. These are the Air Matte Blushes from NARS. These are really unique and I love the colors. Gasp is stunning. Same with Hush, gorgeous colors. They're very sheer and they have a very unique texture to them and they diffuse like nothing. Here's another one I'm going to be getting rid of, the Fenty Beauty Cream blushes. I don't know, I only have this one shade. I did purchase a few, but these like aren't my favorites for some reason. I can't pinpoint why, it might be the colors I chose. I don't see myself ever using this and I feel bad every time I see it in my collection because I just never reach for it. I'm going to give it to someone else. These glossy cloud paints are what made me fall in love with blushes in general, especially with cream ones. And I feel like I can't part with them right now and I love to mix and match them. I'm going to keep them. Same goes for these two shades from Flower Beauty. I have Cinnamon and Nectar, the blush bombs. Are phenomenal. I have three shades in the Quo Beauty version. That one I'm a little bit unsure about. That's like a vibrant, vibrant orange. It's not even picking up how vibrant it is on camera. I don't know if I'd ever use that. It's like a carrot orange, but this pink one is adorbs. I'm gonna keep these two and I'm getting rid of this one color-wise. I have a variety of MAC blushes here. These are the Glow Play blushes, which I adore. I'm going to be getting rid of this one shade. It's too similar to this one when it's on the actual cheeks. This one's the shade That's Peachy. This one is Cheer Up. I'm gonna keep That's Peachy and So Natural, but I'm gonna get rid of this one. And this is the shade Peaches, like the normal powder blushes, which is a very pretty page. I have these ones from Ilya here, which I adore. This is the shade Dreamer. Very pretty orangey bronzy color. And the other one I think is called Ladybird. Yes, Ladybird, which is a pinkier color. And I think they're two different finishes. I don't, I'll have to look at that. But yeah, very pretty colors. Here I have one of the Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Chic Walk of No Shame blush. I'm actually going to be letting this one go. I don't use it as much as my other plum-like beachy colors. Um, 
so I'm gonna let this one go and I find that sometimes this one enhances my texture if I pick up too much of the center one for some reason I don't know I just don't like it as much as my other ones here and here are some of my other favorites the cover effects monochromatic duos I have the shade soft peach and warm honey warm honey is my number one fave but they're both beautiful love them to bits and my last blush let's see the condition this one is in the care weiss blush so beautiful oh yeah it still feels really nice and moosey this one's actually really close in color to the closest one that i had to let go of today sad still um it's the shade desired glow it's gorge there we are those are all my blushes now let's put them back together all the blushes reorganized to the other side of my drawers this is my lip collection which i'm actually not going to be tackling today oddly enough usually this is a big section but i recently went through this and it's all good all organized but here's what it looks like the next drawer here is my eyeshadow palettes which i definitely need to go through there's a few things in here that i rarely ever use and i feel like could use a better home I like looking at them, but I never use them, if that makes sense, so here we go. This is a palette full of Makeup Forever single shadows. I'm going to keep these. This is a palette I put together, and this one has all of my cool tone shades. And this one here is full of my fun bright shades from ColourPop, MAC, Makeup Forever. This is actually the first makeup product I bought at Sephora <laughs> when I was in seventh grade, I believe. And here I depotted a shadow from some palette some time ago. Here I have my Nabla side by side. I adore this palette. I will not be getting rid of it. I have my Natasha Denona Biba Gold Glam Palette and Bronze Palette. I will not be getting rid of any of those. I really like them all. Here is my Naughty Nude Palette from Huda Beauty. I'm actually going to be letting this one go. I honestly don't really like Huda Beauty's eyeshadow formula, and I rarely reach for these types of tones, but I feel like someone else would get so much more use out of it. I think it's a good palette. I just don't reach for it. It just sits here. This is the Nabla Secret Palette. This one's really, really fun. It has some fun tones, fun neutrals. I think it's a really great palette to have. This one here is full of sugar pill colors. A lot of these shades are actually discontinued, but I'm going to keep them along just in case if I want to do a fun makeup look with a bunch of wild colors one day. I have my Pat McGrath palettes here. This one is Divine Rose 2. I forget what this one is called, but, but this one. Bronze Seduction, my favorite, and Divine Rose 1, which is really cute. I also keep this highlighting trio from Pat McGrath right here because I actually enjoy using these shades more so as eye toppers. Here I have the Jen Atkin collection. I really like these formulas, very creamy, very simple too. It's a good one to have if someone was traveling, if we could travel. I have two of the ColourPop 9 shadow palettes here. I'm going to keep Baby Got Peach because this is a really great peach palette. But I'm finally going to let go of the Going Coconuts palette. I haven't reached for this in so long, and I feel like I have replaced these shadows with something else. I just have not used this in so long. I can sense you guys are mad at me, but I gotta be honest, I don't use it. I don't know what you want from me. This right here is the Dior Backstage eyeshadow palette, the shade... Amber Lights, I believe. I rarely ever use this anymore. I used to be obsessed with this, but I don't use it anymore. I think I'm gonna finally let go of it. This right here is the Sugar Pill Fun Size Palette. I whip this out anytime I do a colorful eyeshadow look. It's my favorite colorful shadow palette of all time. I love how it's laid out. It's so beautiful. The tones are so lovely. I just, ugh, can't get enough. This one here 
is kind of different. I tried this out a few more times. I really like how it constricts me from going into a very smoky eye, but the more I have used this, I find that these tones are actually really unflattering on my skin tone. They just kind of blend right into my golden undertone and it just looks really, really weird. So I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. I thought I was going to like it for those days where I wanted a soft glam look, but when I use these shades on their own, I just look sickly. I don't want that. This one here is the Huda Beauty Neon Obsessions. I'm going to be keeping this one just for this one color because it's so unique and fun for a very bright color. And I actually find that this formula is good for this single shadow alone. I just like it for the green colors. I think it's I think it's fun. I don't like how this one's laid out. I wish this whole palette was like a green theme. Like these colors don't make sense. They're visually fun to look at, but when you actually put them into a look, they don't work together. I'm just gonna be keeping it for this top row here. Here I have a Nabla Cutie palette. This one I'm unsure what to do with. This is another palette that has just sat here for a very long time. I've never used it. This is one of those palettes I just come over and I swatch. Like the colors look really, really pretty and the texture feels really nice. Just somehow, I just never use it. Like look at this silver, it's insane. I've thought about it and I know myself. I do this to myself every time I swatch this palette, I'm like, oh, what stunning tones, but it sits here and it sat here for like a year and a half. So I'm gonna get rid of it. Here I have my Makeup by Mario palettes. I have this one, the Master Mattes, and the Master Metals. I'm going to be keeping both palettes. I have my Jackie Ina palette from Anastasia. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous palette. She killed it. This is another fun one, the Charlotte Tilbury Bejeweled Eyes to Hypnotize. Keeping that. I might move that over here though. Here I have the Beetlejuice collection from Melt Cosmetics. Stunning, vibrant shades. Ooh, I wanna see how this one compares to the Huda Beauty one. Oh yeah, okay, there's a difference. That was the Recently Deceased palette. This is the Waiting Room palette. Fun, cool tones and fun red berry colors. I'm gonna be keeping that. Here's one of my all-time favorite palettes, the Rust palette from Melt Cosmetics. I'm probably gonna be keeping all of my Melt palettes. This is the Millennial Pinks one. The Vita palette and the Morte palette. Beautiful, this one's so rich and beautiful. Every time I open this one up, I my jaw drops. So beautiful to look at. This one is the 27 palette, 420 in here. I wonder what this one looks like compared to this one. Oh yeah, much more yellow. <laughs> I have the Radioactive palette. Let's swatch all the greens, why not? That's definitely more lime. Very fun, vibrant colors. My Smoke Sessions palette. Blueprint. I haven't used this one yet, actually. She's in Parties. My new little favorite stacky thing. Love using that all the time. Here's my Rare Beauty palette. I love these ones. These shimmers are really, really nice. It's really fun to use to amp up a look. Here I have my favorite Wet n Wild palette in my Glamour Squad. Great palette. This right here is the Rowan palette, and I purchased this, I think the last VIB sale or special thing, and I don't like this at all. <laughs> I tried it and I tried it, it just does not work for my oily eyelids. I find these to be very unflattering, so I'm gonna get rid of it. I have a melt stack over here. This is the duochrome one, really fun colors. Here I have a few of the Charlotte Tilbury quads. Let's go through them. Here I have Desert Haze. I would never get rid of it. Love this thing to bits. These ones I'm kind of unsure about. I don't know how I feel. This one I really like. It's the Exaggerize one. This one shade right here is so fun. It's like a beautiful topper. So, so pretty. These ones I have a feeling I might declutter them. Yeah, I'm going to declutter these ones. These are the Hollywood Flawless Eye Filters, the three palettes that she came out with. I just don't really enjoy them, nor do I ever reach for them. They give a beautiful like red carpet vibe, but I wish they were all included in a big palette. They don't give me the magic. My Divine Skies palettes from M Cosmetics, the original Magic Hour one and the Faded Clementine one. Very fun. 
I'm gonna keep. I This is the Victoria Beckham quad. This is in the shade Tuxedo. I think I'm gonna let this go. I haven't used this in a long, 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 long time. And all winter long, I kept this on my desk for me to use to do a cool tone look, and I just never reach for it. It doesn't excite me anymore. So I'm gonna pass this along. Over here I have the Auric Shadows. I'm gonna use those. I have the Tom Ford Abyssinian color. I have two NARS eyeshadows in here. I have Coconut Grove and Blondie. I use them all the time. I have a Kaja stack here, one of them. I love this one. This is the shade Chocolate Dahlia. Love this thing to bits. But I'm actually gonna let go of this shade right here, Poppy Champagne. I haven't used them in a very long time, and I have other shades that are similar to this. They're just a little bit more vibrant. This to me is too mid-tone, a little too subdued, but it's not vibrant enough when I want to do a vibrant look. I don't know, it's just kind of caught in the middle. I don't reach for it for that reason. And I'm also going to get rid of this Chantecaille duo. I don't know. I don't get the feels. I'm gonna get rid of it. I feel like I did good in this section, actually. Okay. That's awesome. So here's the final complexion drawer. I think this is the drawer that changed the most. It just looks a lot less overwhelming to me. Here's this drawer all complete. It looks fantastic. I love it. Nice and organized and shifted around. And this last drawer here, I went through it and everything's okay. I have my false lashes over here, single shadows, more single shadows, uh, the Melt Gel Pot liners, some glitters, and my gel liners from Tarte, my Suba Beauty ones, uh, Sugar Pill Pigment, and the Anastasia Water Activated Liners. And then I have my neutral eyeliner pens, my colorful ones, and all of my mascaras. And everything is okay in here. I didn't have to go through it. And here is a final look at everything I've decluttered today. So now I just have to go through it to see what's good, what I can gift to others, and what I will have to try to recycle. I think I did pretty good. So there we have it. There is my spring cleaning collection video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a hug. Maybe, maybe I'll start doing that. Come on in guys. Come on in. There, nice hug. <laughs> But if you could give it a like too, that'd be very helpful. I almost said, I almost said that I'll be linking everything in the description, but I won't be doing that. But I'll catch you guys in the next one. Love you. Bye.